Chris Martin and welcome to My Kitchen Science. Today we're going to be doing um, a flying ghost tea bag experiment. So for this you're going to need a tea bag, a sharpie or a block marker, a lighter or matches, and a pair of scissors. So we're going to start by taking the tea bag and chopping the top off right where this line is here. And you want to do your best to be as straight as possible. So you can get rid of the top and we're going to empty out the tea into a container because we don't need it for this experiment. So your tea bag will probably be folded. You can unfold it so that it makes a tube. Just like this. Now we're going to draw the face of our ghost onto our tea bag. So I'm going to give it some eyes and a spooky mouth. Just like that. As you can see, I've moved outside for the next part of our experiment because we're going to be lighting our ghost on fire. And as I said at the beginning, this is a flying ghost experiment, so we want to make sure we're away from anything that could get burned or damaged. As always, when we're doing science experiments, we want to make sure we have adult permission. And especially today as we're working with fire, you want to make sure you have an adult with you doing this experiment for you or this part of the experiment for you. As always, safety first, have fun, and do try this at home. Now that I'm all set up with my safety goggles and my hair tied back, I'm ready to open my ghost up into a tube. and place him in the heat proof container. Next I'll be making a prediction and my thought was that because this is working on hot air and the air outside means a lot cooler, this ghost is going to fly pretty high because there'll be a lot of hot air propelling it upwards. So we'll see what happens. Now you might be wondering what's happening. First, like a hot air balloon, as the tea bag burns, hot air builds up inside it. Hot air is less dense than cool air. And as the less dense hot air rises, our second thing happens. Cool air rushes in to take its place, and a convection current is created, pushing upward on the bottom of the bag. Lastly, as it burns to a small and light frame of ash, the bag is easily carried by the rising hot air and the convection current up into the air. So that was the flying ghost tea bag experiment. Um, it looks like our prediction might have been right because it went pretty high. It'd be awesome to see what you come up with and what different air temperatures that you might be experiencing have, uh, what effect they have on your flying tea bag ghost. So thank you all for watching my kitchen science video and that is all.